I must have absolute silence. Excelsior! Oh. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, Geekophiles. Well then, how are we doing? Alright, well, Game of Thrones, season finale. Yeah, the winds of winter. And normally we wait, like Wednesday, Thursday to put it out, just to yeah. give you guys a chance to watch it, it's all spotted, but yeah. this needs talking about. Yeah. I mean, we've got it's three times as much notes yeah. as we normally have. Yeah. I think we've got more notes than we usually have for an Excelsior. <laughs> We're not <laughs> far off, actually, I think. Um, yeah. Jesus, what a finale. Yeah. I mean, just how it started as well. No, no dialogue, that haunting music. Yeah, just kind of such drama, but yeah. complete silence, apart from a dramatic like, orchestral overscore. Yeah. I mean, I've got here, like, just seen them getting ready. The, yeah. the first note I've got is Game of Thrones, having open like this. Uh -huh. It won't... Do you want any dialogue? Do you want any drama or yeah. like conflict or anything? Yeah. It was just the getting dressed. Yeah. Some of Big's coming. Yeah. It, like they're all walking towards the doom, resigned to the fate. <laughs> yeah, it was that was really fucking powerful. Yeah. Like, Set uh, the tone beautifully. Yeah. But uh, my, my initial reaction was is what I predicted when I fucking 40 minutes in King Long didn't it? Trial. I did think that. I thought it was going to it's showing us ten minutes from getting ready. We're going to have forty minutes of trial now. Yeah, and then we had Loris's trial, which was interesting because yeah. what game was Marjorie playing? Because she was on side with the Septum. Yeah. But then has a go at and you mutilated him. You promised me you wouldn't do. So yeah. she when she said we had a deal, I think it was sort of like she brought Tom and round to the High Sparrow as we're thinking, and they got off scot free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's why I took out of it. Uh, no, don't matter what shot fucking. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yes, you have something to do. Can't have a child while combat. You're going to regret doing that, you little fucker. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that were. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, first off, I've got those uh, those little kids. Yeah, Quiburn's little birds. They're fucking. Yeah. Evil as fuck. All of them. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. I'll just bait you down into the sewers and, uh, oh, look, we're going to blow. That's stab your kidneys and we're going to blow the city up there. Yeah. I'm um, Paul, my uh, grandmaster Paysel. I like Paysel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I want to know you like some Game of Thrones that die. No more fire gags. Oh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> but no, it would do Paysel one of those that you didn't you never really hurt anyone, did he? Or he was just out for himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, uh, well, oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did his job well for years. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it deserved yeah. better than getting fucking shipped by a group of street urchins. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those little birds are something to be uh, yeah. terrified of. Oh, yeah. I thought about the little finger had them out, but uh, no. Yeah. I can't wait for Varys to get back and say, What have you done to my birds? My little bird, yeah. <laughs> will they serve him when he get back? Good point. Mm. The master, no, will they serve him? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, no fuck's given by Sir. Say, Oh, what the. I'm going to go to trial. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, motherfuckers. Yeah. Got you all in one place. Everyone that's been against me. Yeah. And, you, and you saw Cersei of old. Yeah, that were proper no fucks given Cersei. Yeah. None of this political manoeuvring, I was stuck yeah. doing this, but I have to go this way. Just. No. Bang. I think it was two weeks ago we said she, she seemed broken. She seems like she'd been stripped of everything. And she had that look on her face today, though. Yeah. Even when, you know, the place is blowing up, she's got that look where it's not yeah. a victory, it's not she's won. It yeah. was that kind of. She's dead inside, but she's. For me, uh, you could, uh, the victory came when she had the scepter tied up. Oh, the, the nun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and she's uh, sort of like, I enjoy it. I do this because I enjoy yeah. it. I fuck my whole brother because I enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. Well, I mean, uh, COD Insta Kill of the Week. Oh, yes. Now, it should be the courthouse. Yeah. They don't fucking keep going up or you don't want to call it. Yeah. Taking the out. Sept. Yeah, the Sept, sorry. Yeah. Taking out quite possibly a good couple of hundred people. Yeah. That pretty much qualifies as COD Insta Kill of the Season, I think. <laughs> But <laughs> I'm going to give it to the bell. Yeah, the bell. <laughs> which uh, Shobich was watching it with me and asked, is that the Liberty Bell? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's the colour of the season goes to the bell. Yeah. With the poor bastard running away. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, actually, no, it's the colour of the season. I think it still goes to Grey Worm. Gre oh, yeah, Worms it. <laughs> worms it. Goes to Worms it. Was nice. But yeah, the it's the colour of the goes yeah. to the bell. Yeah. And I'll show them the, the septum. Yeah. I thought we were going to see Mountains first, though. So. Yeah, you kind of got a weird glimpse of it. Like yeah. it looked really weird and out of proportion, yeah. but you couldn't see it properly. Yeah, we well, yeah, had half his head caved in by uh, Viper. Yeah, I just, I was gutted we didn't get to see it properly. I yeah. thought, I thought we'd have seen more of it. But he lost his uh, 
Zombie virginity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's I, a punishment. You're not going to die today. I'm just having going to have this big, massive zombie rape you for days. It's, well, it's like, you know, we've had rape, we've had lesbianism, we've had prostitutes and stuff. You think, kind of, we expect it on in Game of... No, nope, zombie rape. <laughs> yeah. Zombie rape. Okay, then. Yeah, you went there. Yeah, you got there. All right, then. Uh, you, you, you did get us. Yeah. And then came uh, the big moment for Tom. And... I love this because it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. There were no, again, no dialogue, no argument, no... Yeah. He just walks off, takes his crown off, and he's like, we're still looking outside. And then all of a sudden he just comes and stands on the ledge and boom! Oh shit, I don't bounce like Stark kids do. You've been fucking brutal in your notes today, I love it. It's, it's absolutely, his actual notes here, I wish I could grab the camera and show you. It says, Tobin realises Lannisters don't bounce like Stark boys. <laughs> My hope was better. Mine said, "Fuck, Tom has just eaten pavement." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're very, uh, very sensitive on this show. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, that's a reference there to Bram. Yeah. Hitting the floor, Winterfell, and surviving, and Tom and. See, it seems Tom a bit of justice up. coming round with Cersei and Jamie pushing him, off the yeah. ledge in episode one. Yeah, and now there's some. Yeah. First dives off a fucking castle. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Jamie, then we, we we move away from King's Landing. Yeah. Over to the uh the river. Frays. Yeah. Yeah, we with the phrase and he's having that conversation listening to Frey bragging on and that and he's uh, looking brilliant, typical Jamie. Oh I love it. Just straight non us and Jamie. It's like yeah. um whenever you lose a castle, we come and help you. Whenever this happens, we come and save you. Whenever yeah. this happens, we come and rescue you. Why the fuck do we need you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, this one we're about the other week when yeah. Jamie's not equipped to do the politics of King's yeah. Landing and stuff. Take him out of King's Landing, put him in the field. Yeah. Put him with the lords and stuff that are out as a field general. And it just gets results so quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah I think he's one of my favourite characters at the moment. Oh, I'll be dead next episode then. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a brief little glimpse of Sam arriving at the Citadel. Yeah, the Major's Library in Skyrim. Yeah, he, he does. It looks like Winter Hall, doesn't it? When when you hand in your Mage Quest to like, yeah, it looks exactly like it. Um, <laughs> you yeah, say so you got here with his face holds at Winter Hall, Mage's College, yeah. and I think I wrote Sam just 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 pants at Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope Sam gets a break up because all right for him. Yeah, but well, you think he'd be pretty safe. It. Don't know what's going to happen to Gilly and Little Sam. That's it. It's the Gilly and Little Sam. It's going to be the point. If we want for Gilly and Little Sam, I think he'd be fine. Yeah. Maybe get him killed off? No, it doesn't get Sam. Plus, <laughs> <laughs> it's dogs, it's dogs, they're going to die. Yeah. Gilly and little Sam are going to die because Sam will be in the library doing his studies, she'll be living in the town outside, and he goes yeah. and visits her and stuff like that. And one day, Sam will be in the library, about, I'm going to say, episode three, two or three, yeah. next season. Sam will be in the library, studying away. Sam's dad's gonna rock up one of his Valerian steel sword back. <laughs> yeah, could happen. He's gonna kill Gilly and little Sam because it's fuck all. They're nothing to him. Yeah. It's always a dirty wildling and, and a baby that has nothing to do with Sam. Yeah. And they mean everything to Sam. And he stole his dad's sword, so he's gonna steal his everything. Yeah. That's episode two or three. Yeah. Of course that doesn't happen because it's all a dream anyway. Yeah, no, it's his nurse <laughs> playing on the. Yeah. The table, isn't it? <laughs> and then. <laughs> um, then M Melisandre? Yeah. Uh, she got caught out by the Onion Knight. <laughs> this, what gets me, he found that little burnt thing. Yeah, the stag. Yeah, at the end, at the edge of their camp. Yeah. What they burnt on the other side of the wall? No, no. He did it before he went to attack Winterfell. It was his final... Oh, no, I, I, yeah, I thought... His final that. sacrifice to the Red God to, before he went to go and try to take Winterfell. Right, I thought we were yeah. on the side. Right, that's what I thought. I was getting confused. That, I was like, eh, what, eh? That's what she said. So like we were freezing, the horses were dying, we were running out of food, we needed some... For, but it was for morale, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were but, sacrificed to the gods, but... Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah I thought, thought she should have been hung, to be honest. I'm surprised Davos didn't rip her apart with his bare hands. It's Davos, though, is, uh, does it by the book, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Which is weird to say about a former smuggler. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about that new life plan and it was kind of, it was quite cool to see. It was brilliant acting because yeah. you could easily just instantly get across that um, I'm a knight, you are my king, this is how we do it, this is a process, yeah. let's do it by the book. But his voice was like, yeah. I'm going to fucking rip her pieces now. Yeah. Just let me out. See when he says, 
Do I have permission to execute her? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's wanting to fuck it, he's yeah. wanting to kill and her. And she's leaving, you ever come here again and I will execute, execute you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think she's going to go, but she's been told to go south. Yeah. She's going to get to King's Landing just in time for Daenerys to. Yeah. But also, will Daenerys take her Red Priest with her? Don't forget, Tyrion's got the Red Priestess. In marine show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trying for Dana. Yeah, for, oh, I'm wondering who we are there. I don't know what I could think about were uh, Theros. No. Having a brotherhood without banners. Tyrion, Tyrion got the Red Priest. Yeah, in marine, yeah. Didn't it to show. So, because we ended up with one in marine shine for Danny and the other in. Yeah. Shine for John. Are they both. Has she come with Daenerys? Yeah. Are they yeah. both going to be. Is that, <laughs> is that they're going to be work together? They're going to be against each other? Is it. Maybe. Or will they find out what we have. What we reckon our theory is that. Yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Well, I'm going to let you shout this because I know you want to with the way you've typed it. Winter is here. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did like that. Uh, just the end of that scene where she goes, uh, the white ravens come, winter's here. And uh, John just laughs and goes, well, Father did always promise it. <laughs> <laughs> nice little nod back to the start there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was interesting in um, Winterfell. Yeah. It always makes me wonder, like, Winterfell's always been, like, where the King of the North sits and the leader of the yeah. North. And, yeah, it looks such a depressing, empty, barren place. It's like, yeah. you've got fuck all, how are you? Well, he's supposed to reference North of England, isn't he? Yeah, but he's like, you know, <laughs> He's gloomy up north. He's gloomy up north. All we've got is gravy and whippets and flat cats. We're not from West York. That's where I've always seen it. King's Landing is London. Yeah, oh, it's been much like you've got Midlands, that. and then you've got uh, Winterfell's... Us, us yeah. York Shore, and then beyond the wall is Scotland. <laughs> no, no, no. Where dirty wildlings are. Yeah. <laughs> I completely get that. It's just, it always seems like this is the capital of the north, but everywhere else in the north has some kind of functioning economy or village or yeah. town, and Winter, Winterfell's just always empty. Yeah. It looks like there's been a fire lit in that hair for like 10 <laughs> years or something. Um, but yeah, uh, poor Dario. Yeah. Oh, before we get there. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, Queen of Thorns. Yeah. Went over to Dawn for the first time in about six episodes. Only well, second time this season? Yeah. In fact, it was episode one. Yeah, episode one, we went over, Prince got sh shanked. Yeah. Not been back since? Yeah, poor Dr. Bashir. Yeah. Need <laughs> <laughs> to get his uh, medical unit out to solve that fucker. Yeah, so, uh, form it. The Sand Snakes. Yep. Forming an alliance with the Queen of Thorns. Yep. Who now has no heirs. No, her entire. <laughs> But she's just too old to create anymore. Yeah. And her uh, house is dying. It's done. Has anyone got heirs at the moment? <laughs> the Lannisters don't. The Tyrells don't. The Starks don't. <laughs> There's Edward Murr has one because Jamie didn't fling it into a castle with catapult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts one. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no one has an heir yet. No. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting for the final battle. But there's yeah. no... Mm. I love it when she tells the uh, junior Sam's snakes to shoot up. So, what's your name, Barbara? No, I don't care. Mm -hmm. you, got, you look like a boy. So, shut up. <laughs> if you get anything to say, ah, good. Then I let the grown up speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, then we find out where Varys has been on his secret mission. Yeah, his secret mission was to dawn. <laughs> yes. Um, to get a fleet, by all accounts. Yeah. Oh. And I think he's come back with a little more than he expected. Yeah, what an alliance now, though. You've got the Dothraki, the Unsullied. Yeah. This, but, but I'm assuming Daenerys took the Slaver's forces. I think she might have left them behind which, uh, for Second Sons to rule. Yeah. yeah. Um, which we will get to next in a moment. But. So now we've got Thor, uh, Queen of Thorns, we've got Dawn. Yeah. That's. Dawn are right fighting forces. Oh, and then, you know, there's a small matter of a couple of dragons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Westeros is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just mentioned the second son's ruling marine. We had the poor heartbreaking scene for Dario and Harris. Yeah. He's, he, he can't go. Yeah. And it had that Tyrion written all over it, and he knew that. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. It's just what you're saying to him. It's like, I don't want to be king, I just want to be with you. Let, let them say what they want about me. Let you have a, a perfume scented aristocrat from sat next to you, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> you know, but um, no, he gets, gets marine. Yeah. And the Bay of Dragons. Yeah. But to honestly, I eat certain right for not having purple hair and blue eyes like he does in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that not a fucking thing? Yeah. Why is that not. That should be a thing. Yeah. All, all the bravos, is they like dandies. The bravos, he. Oh, right, and he's more of a gritty fighter and... Yeah, yeah. but he's not like this uh, skilled swordsman. 
you know, like, uh, what's his name, Surreal Pharrell from... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit like him, but he has purple beard, goatee beard and purple hair and bright blue eyes. Oh, what that? Yeah, we, we, we all kicked off did the book readers as soon as Dario turned up. Can you imagine? <laughs> um, yeah, while well, I was following Marine, yeah. I love how the Bay of Dragons sounds fucking awesomely cool. Yeah. But I love how it's not a big thing. Yeah. It's just like, you know, the Bay of Dragons. Bay of what? Yeah. Well, can't call it Slayer Bay anymore. It's exactly. yeah. off, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's an awesomely cool name. And, yeah. yeah just, just drop that, leave. Yeah. Um, that was brilliant. Yeah. And then one of my favourite scenes of the episode, Tyrion and Danny. This was funny because you came down as I was watching, I just got to this bit as you were watching. Yeah. And as you turned up. And um, I just brought on my notes, um, Tyrion's matured. Yeah. Well, I feel he's really matured as a character and he's found his ruler. Yes. Um, and then straight after that, he gets given the fucking hand of the Queen. About fucking time. <laughs> yeah, we, we called this a few we, uh, a few episodes ago, didn't we? Yeah. So he said, well, not they get it in Marine, but that it, yeah. they get to Westeros. Yeah, so we, we had his worries that she was just going to come in and sort of be all blood and dragons and fire and not yeah. listen to him at all. And he, he says, if I had a sword, I'd pledge it to you. And she goes, all I want is your counsel. It's yours. And then she gives him the bad Yeah, I, I have this made for you. I'm yeah. Like, Fuck yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. He, he's, he's just his, his scheme and stuff. He seems, at times he seems a bit despondent. Yeah. Like, oh, Fuck this again. Yeah. Um, but it's a foreign country for different ways. Yeah. But he's still playing the game. Yeah. He's, yeah he's, he's the, he was going to be king. Yeah. Queen, hand of the queen. Yeah. He had to be. He had to be. <laughs> uh, big shocking surprise with Frey Pie. Oh, Frey Pie. Frey Bentos Pie. Yeah, because they're Frey Bentos Pies. <laughs> Why did I not put that in my notes? I just saw that Frey Pie and it just instantly gives with Frey Bentos. I'm about to see when he's not talking. You beat me to it, you bastard. But oh. yeah. Um, yeah. The eye of many faces. Yeah, I mean, I knew we kind of figured she'd gone off. She's eye, eye starts as a well of kick ass assassin skills. Yeah. Didn't know she had the uh, many faces skill. Well, I, I suggested she did because I said, I, I still believe in a fight club theory, and it was her face she handed back, the wave's face. Yeah. It went back on the wall. Yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, well, quite a, a nice little shock, like, oh, yeah, it's weird. Oh, because I was eating his kids, probably some nasty fucking. Because he was a bit of a paedophile and stuff, Bonnie, and. Yeah, oh, he was just. He was a dirty old man. Yeah. You dirty old man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we stopped doing any, I thought I stopped, stopped doing impressions years ago. But um, yeah, so it was like, oh yeah, so I'm yeah. Boom, it's higher! Yeah. Fucking hell! <laughs> yeah, like, she got to Westeros quick. Yeah, that's one more off a list as well. Yeah, I mean, but how quickly did she get from Marine to King's Landing and up yeah. fucking we're, to River? We're, we're, we're going to mention this later on. The, uh, they're not showing travelling at the moment, it seems. It's I, think it's good. I think it goes back to Sam being in the Winterhold Mages College. Yeah. That this is all set in Skyrim and you've got fast travel. Yeah. <laughs> you've been there before and you can instantly teleport to it. Yeah. You know, I think that's how it works now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, little finger might have. Oh, no, sorry, while we're talking here, ah, you've got one off at list. Yeah. What more are we wanting? Are you versus the mountain? No. Nope. The mountain's on our list. Not until he's fought the hound. <laughs> Not until they both fought each other. Yeah. I want to actually hear a list again because she hadn't done it since she left the Hound. Yeah. And the Hound was on the list and she could have killed him. But did she take off him because she left him for dead? Maybe. Yeah. Good see how you take on that big fucker though, wasn't it? Yeah. We had to let him fight Hound first though. Yeah, we want Clegane Ball. <laughs> we want Clegane Ball. It has to be. It has to be. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving back up north. Yeah. Uh, Littlefinger overplayed his hand? Maybe. And he's not, it was a bit of a dumb move from him because he's... Yeah. He's well, always... Bond villained it, didn't he? Yeah, he's, he's revealed his plan to it. He's always been sort of like, I'll tell you this while I've got this going in the background. Look yeah. over there, look over there, don't look at this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he just kind of nuts on the road. Yeah. Uh, I think he assumed, I've got you, you went and fell back, now you're mine. Now it'll take a bit more than that to get in the knickers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see a vision of me on the Iron Throne with you sat beside me. Yeah. No thanks, mate. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck off. Um, I love Sansa's reasoning as well. Where he goes, well, I pledged my allegiance to House Stark. You've pledged your allegiance to a lot of houses, and you've turned on them just because it suits your own gains. Yeah. 
You don't pledge your allegiance, but that doesn't mean shit to us. Yeah, we got words, fuck all. Yeah, we got to you <laughs> fucking second. <laughs> Surprised you even turned up with your fucking horses, you dickhead. Yeah. Um, you get to bask in the glory of calling it. Yeah. Six years ago. Call it six years ago after I read the first book. I says John Stark, uh, sorry, John Snow is the bastard son of I forgot the name now. Ned's sister. Ned's sister and Rhaegar Ty Targaryen. Yeah. Because they always says he, he raped her and that's how she died. Yeah, but it wasn't. She died in childbirth. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. And I think um, it, it fits in perfectly that, you know, like being confirmed as a Targaryen. Yeah. We were discussing the other week, obviously I've never read the books. Um, we were discussing on this show the other week that before, I, well, I thought. Um, Tyrion was a Targaryen. Yes. Uh, we were kind of pieced bits back. Yeah. Let, uh, you know, like, Tyrion Lannister's last words, his dad, his and he's like, you know, son of mine. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you knew you got better with the gene knowledge than me, so you kind of figured that it was. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have the Riders 3. Jon yes. Snow, Tyrion, and Daenerys all riding a dragon each. Without a doubt. That, that's it's, definitely it's how happening. it's going. Yeah. It's going that yeah. way. It's going to be so like, Jon's fighting uh, the, de the White King. Danny's fighting the Lannisters, they're going to come together in the middle and it's all going to come out yeah. and they're all going to rule together. I hope it's something like a dragon comes down and John just shouts at it and it just appears and yeah. like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And Tyrion shouts at something else happens <laughs> and Tyrion gets a dragon. Oh, he's yeah. in danger and a dragon comes for yeah. him. Yeah. But, uh, don't forget, uh, it's only briefly touched on this, John, John is a wag as well. Oh, what, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's wagged into a ghost before, so if he wags into a dragon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, that's going to be good to see. That's going to be right at the very end. That's end game, is that? Yeah, um, that's that's end of season, it. That's Eight, end of it. Yeah, yeah, it's the end of the whole thing. That's yeah. Great. But do you not think that the way it's been done, because it's been following the books, it's kind of been is it in is it in, you know yeah. kind of trying to piece the genealogy, the little fragments of stories together. Yeah. To get these fan fears and stuff, and then now it no longer follows the books. It's kind of like, oh look, she's. Bleeding out from giving birth. Oh, look, she's got a baby. Yeah. There, there's her baby. Fade into John Snow as an adult. It just yeah. kind of. We wouldn't be able to guess this story without the books. No, no, last season. Oh, yeah. It's, it, well, it's written from the books. It's kind of very cryptic. Is it could go either way? Yeah. TV's kind of that beat, that beat, that. It, yeah, yeah. It's a lot more predictable. You didn't even bit of predict it before. Yeah. I think this season's made it more predictable. Mm. Um, so that's not really a good thing, I think. <laughs> um, Next point, our, our new favourite character. Yes. Leanna Mormon. Yeah, the little uh, bear. <laughs> again, this, this lass is brilliant. Um, yeah. I wrote on my notes, Leanna Mormon stealing the show again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, a couple of weeks back, get to your point, dickhead, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. You know, um, your notes. <laughs> Leanna Mormon, you're a cunt, you're a cunt, you're a cunt, Jon Snow's king. Pretty much how it was. Yeah. I hope this little girl just gets up. You're a cunt. <laughs> You're a cunt. You didn't fight. Your dad got ripped apart in front of you and you didn't fight. Yeah. Your house got your family got slaughtered and you didn't fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Just um, getting shown up by a what twelve year old girl. <laughs> the, the next thing to do, we'll go. That's saying that does anybody have any heirs? Yeah. Just know is to get married, have a son, and marry her off to the marry yeah. off to the other moment yeah. as soon as he possibly can. Yes, without a doubt. Dad, you need to get that girl on your side. <laughs> get her signed in by get her locked in by marriage. Yeah. Because she's she's gonna be impressive one day. Yeah. Um, the thing that I, I'm wondering now, is it still gonna be Jon Snow? It has to be. Has to be, doesn't it? I think because the last living Stark, Sansa can recognise. Oh, the last known living Stark. I thought it had to be his parent that recognises him. Ned had to recognise him before he died. Yeah. I don't know. I think it has to be recognised by your father before he dies. That, yeah. Because it's your father's. Well, I think it has to be recognised by the Liege Lord. Yeah. Who is now Jon Snow? Yeah. I recognise myself as Jon Stark. <laughs> yeah. I. Well, the thing what he didn't want it, did he? No. You were telling Sansa, you're, you're yeah. the Lady of Winterfell, you're the yeah. last surviving Stark, and then all the lords go, hey, fuck what you two are talking about, you're King of North, mate. Yeah. He eats Castle Black all over again, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to be Lord Commander. We all vote for John. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they keep doing this to me? Yeah. But uh, everyone gravitates to him as a leader. Right, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it is. Do not be interested to see. Yeah. He's uh, widely considered one of the best swordsmen in the world. Yeah. 
but so is Jamie Lannister. Jamie was the best swordsman in the world until he lost his right hand, his sword hand. Yeah, but he'll yeah. never be as good with his left. No, never be as good with his left. But I just want to see. I always want to see them too. Well, he used to be because Ned Ned taught John, and Ned was one of the best swordsmen yeah. in the world in that season one fight, and where Jamie goes mental because the stab Ned it led. Yeah, like a month yeah. fight properly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, I've always wanted to see John be Jamie. Yeah. But like I says. Left handed is not going to be the same, is it? Yeah. We're, we're being robbed of it. <laughs> Unless John fights with an arm tied behind his back. <laughs> John just goes, oh, I've got my left hand, mate, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Which you can see John do. Yeah, left hand, on this bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Queen Cersei. Yeah, we've got. Uh, <laughs> might have a problem. Yes. Because that wasn't a well done, sis, you've got the crown kind of lock. No. That was. What the fuck have you done? I'm the King Slayer, and I've got no fucking problem slaying a queen. Yeah. I mean, it's her fault, he's the last living child. I mean, they, they're the last two Lannisters. Jamie and Cersei. And Tyrion. Yeah. They're the last three, aren't they? Yeah. Because Lancel died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're the last Lannisters. Yeah. Their uncle were in set. Yeah, so... Daenerys takes us King's Landing. Yeah. Fucks up Jamie and uh, fucks up Cersei, just feeds her to a dragon. Yeah. Jamie gets slaughtered up north with Jon Snow in a one arm fight. <laughs> um, and Tyrion takes back yeah. the Lannister properties, he just takes over the Lannister houses. Yeah, but we theorise that Tyrion isn't Lannister. Yeah, but he's, he's Targaryen because he's riding a thing, but he's. he's it's Targaryen he's blood. He's Lannister by name. It's Targaryen blood, so he can control the dragons, but yeah. he's, he's been acknowledged as a Lannister by name, so he's entitled to those titles. Yeah. Well, he's not been. No, yeah, he got stripped of them when he uh, became the Kinslayer. Not Tyrion. Yeah. Kinslayer. Oh, Kinslayer, yeah. Because yeah. you've got the Kinslayer on the Kinslayer in I think it? Daenerys ain't going to give him back. Oh, she will, don't <laughs> Well, that means fuck all. Daenerys is going to go, yeah, you. I want that, mate. Oh, he, can't, he got stripped of his lands and his titles, and I just yeah. gave them back to him. Do you want to go say hello? We've got, we've got a problem. Go to my complaints department through that door. <laughs> Don't put down the Drogon's head. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine with it, love. <laughs> That's a complaint department just drag it outside. <laughs> <laughs> what is the nature of your complaints? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like I say, it's his, his last child. Yeah. Um, not going to be happy, but it's fair, it's, it's his fault. It were. Yeah. It wasn't like revenge for getting the keep, or was it revenge for killing the sparrow? It was he blew up the sparrow and his wife. Yeah. And he just threw himself off of the window because of her actions. So yeah. Jamie's not going to see the political manoeuvring or all that. He's, he's fucking going for it. Yeah. Uh, and then we had the final scene. <sighs> that was a fucking impressive At First, I was like, where the fuck do you get all those boats from? Yeah. Um, well, actually, no, my first thought was, because those poor bastards stood in with ropes and unsullied and just stood there doing fuck yeah. all. My first thought was, how like, good at the Raff, Raff Racky doing on ships? Shouldn't they be throwing up on that side? No, because I explained this to you. Yeah. My logic for this is that, yeah. you know, they've never been on ships before, so they should yeah. be throwing up on side, but they're in the bay. Yeah. It's fairly calm. It's when they get out to the ocean, where the waves get rougher and bigger, yeah. and that's when they're going to be spewing up everywhere. But as it stands right now, it's yeah. kind of novelty, it's new, and it's... Yeah. Um, but they're in the bay, where it's quite... But it's calm. Yeah. So it's when they get out. But how, um, how cold would it be? Drogon's wings. Yeah, just dipping through the ice. Yeah. Just, oh. It's the simple things that I like sometimes. It just, it's yeah. so visual, but yeah. powerful. Yeah. Just like, da da da, I'm off on my way. Just like running his hands through some grass as he goes through a field. Yeah. Just like, yeah, let's go fuck shit up, mum. <laughs> I mean, like he says, I, I came in halfway through you watching it and I'd already watched it twice at home. Yeah, you were like, I love this bit watch. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone until the third time of actually watching it, it's like I noticed worms in. On boat with unsullied. Yeah. Because when it pans out and it shows you sort of like uh, Daenerys in a small castle, I'm just like, first two times, like, where's worms in? Yeah, but he's on the boat with he's just looking over the side and yeah. unsullied there just stood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that that arm is gonna fuck up King's Landing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we mentioned how fast are you got over. Yeah, Varys has got Skyrim. Quick yeah, travel. He's got quick travel as well. It's like one minute he's in dark, next minute he's on. Well, what about this? We're like, no, but what's, what's, what's the geography of Game of Thrones here? Because he's, he's Dawn Nate um, Marine? Or yeah. what? And we love it. No, the more or less other side of the fucking world. Yeah. But 
Yep, Barry's unless, the guy. unless kind of at this point have crossed the ocean, they've gone past Dawn to pick Varys up and they're just about to hit King's Landing. I mean, to me it looked like they were leaving Bay. Yeah. It looked like they were leaving Marine, not they're going out to well, sea. Well that could that could be a theory if they picked Varys up on the way. Because next stop is King's Landing. I mean, so the Dothraki is, have got over the There's no sense of time. Or, there's no yeah. sense of time in this, yeah. so is it? Is it an hour after we saw Varys in Dawn? <laughs> or is it two months? Yeah. Is it a one month journey and it's two months after they set off with. I don't know. Not really, yeah. It yeah. just looks like it's just like. My Instagram, actually, you were sat there smirking away and I just went, Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> and I'm just laughing, like, How the fuck does he get there? And I know he's good, but. That's impressive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you see Skyrim fast travel. We've got we've got the Mages Library from Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim fast travel. Jon Snow got a respawn. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it is. It's. it's but yeah. It didn't go Walking Dead. No. No cliffhanger. No, just, no cliffhanger. Brilliant. Not just is he is he alive or is he alive as fuck. Yeah. Just we're going to war. See you next season. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. That's how you do it when we're already invested. Do you think that's a reaction to Walking Dead? Quite possibly. Because I think Walking Dead is one of the other big shows on TV. Like that reaction is kind of like, we're not fucking doing that. Yeah. Let's, let's just avoid that. We have this, is he alive or not? Yeah. Last, 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 last season. With the Rabina Ways, and so like the way that episode went with the Rabina Ways to make it a cliffhanger. I'm sure they could have put but Summit in. Were there anybody in Jeopardy? Not really. I'd have just. Showing you the hound doing something you don't know yeah. who it is. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is it? Where's he now? What's it? Again, we're saying hound has no agenda, does it? No. They're completely agenda free now, so it'd be like, yeah, I. Like, like I say, at this point, because it's uh, just slightly overtaken, booked on the last book, the cliffhanger to leave it is Lady Stoneheart is about to string up one of the main characters, and that's, that's how See, it, the book's ended. I, I honestly thought, and like, I'm not all the books, I don't know who Lady Stoneheart is. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say just in case she does come in the show, yeah. even though they've said she's definitely not in the show. But that just in case. Me. Yeah, that means I know, a, you know she's supposed to be a really kick-ass, amazing character. Well, not really, you only see her in, in the uh, epilogue of the book. I was thought... in the prologue of the last book and in the epilogue of the last is book. Is that all it is? Yeah. Because I thought it would have been somewhat like, you know, instead of it, like, we had that scene, they're all on the boat and stuff. And yeah. It pans out, and it comes up, and then it just flashes to a forest, and she's there on a horse, and it goes off. Yeah. Just, just throw that in, like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> going nuts now, or, or, you know. Yeah. Is that, is that Lady Star? Is that, has it been? I don't know, probably something yeah. I'd have done, just yeah. a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, See, I do, I do definitely suspect she's going to come into it, though, because of the... Brotherhood without banners resurfacing because you ride around with them. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, so that's it's... why I'm not spoiling it. <laughs> so what do we think we've got for next season? Next season. <laughs> well, uh, they've cut it down to seven episodes, haven't they? Yeah. Which says to me a lot of it's going to be battles. Yes. Yeah. That's all I want. Just seven episodes. Just seven episodes of epic fucking fights. Yes. Yeah. Just. Seven episodes of either the Bastard Bowl or Hard Home, uh, the Battle of Blackwater Bay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't you want one episode, I don't want episode titles, yeah. like the Battle of the Bastards or, um, what this one, Winters? Uh, the Winds of Winter. The Winds of Winter. Yeah. As well. I don't want little cool sounding names like that. Yeah. I just want Jon Snow goes to war. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Lannister goes to war. <laughs> Daenerys goes to war. Yeah. <laughs> the, war the war fights. Yeah. Sam, read a book. <laughs> John goes to war. <laughs> well, one thing I'm hoping a lot more from next season is more Greyjoys. Yes. Because I promised lots of Greyjoys this season. I didn't get them. Oh. No, we got a fair bit of them. We, we had just... half an episode on Iron Island. Yeah, yeah but we got we got a fair no we got a fair bit of Theon taking Stansa and Theon were quite running from most of this series. He just yeah, but he's not a proper Greyjoy anymore. So you got Greyjoys. Yeah. You want, you want the Grey Giant storyline, I want it. Oh, that half an episode like goes over half a book. I think Grey Giant's one of the most used families in it this season. In bits and bats, though, can we all? There were supporting players. There were, there were threads that ran all the yeah. way through it. Yeah, well, I think Euron is going to become a big player. Yeah, I'm quite good. He comes back, does this, you know, Collins to kill, takes over the crown, builds all the ships. No, it's in sense. Yeah. And this gives me as well, we're timeline, right, they've just nicked all our ships, right, build me more ships, we're going to go catch them. 
How long did it take you? Another fucking shit, mate? Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive, you're gonna knock it together and, and chase them down? Yeah. That is some impressive shit building. Yeah, fair. Fucking idiot. Obviously, we've got to see more hound. I was a bit disappointed we didn't get up from him, but obviously, time issues. It was quite a packed. It was an extended episode, and it was quite packed. Yeah. It was like he seemed a bit weird bringing him back and then doing that with him. Yeah. Um... One thing I do wonder is how the fuck is I'm not down. I'm sure I put it down, but it's not my note. How the fuck is Bran still alive? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, he had it, Uncle Benjamin protecting him also. Yeah, no, but when you see him like crawling over to like there's, there's the face in the tree, like yeah. literally five foot away from him. Yeah. And, and she, he struggles to get there, and she has to pick him up and drag him. It's like how the fuck have you survived? Yeah. I run about. We're talking about Bran over there with him here in Facebook group, and it's like. Uh, I wonder what's happening with Bran, so I uh, told him my theory that Benjamin were going to tell him about. Yeah. But we got the vision instead. And so I, I just want the little crippled bastard to die. So, but we need some payoff. So, payoff for me would be Mira fucking staving his head in with a stone while he's sleeping, dragging your fucking <laughs> arse. <and laughs> my, in my mind, it's like you know the old Chris film with Spandau Ballet. Yeah. Yeah. Where Jack the Hammer like, sweets, sweets, and she's like, sleep, sleep, <laughs> fucking sleep. <laughs> I, I wanted to be, I actually thought when Benjamin laughed. Yeah. I wanted my mind just to go, fuck is, this. Is, 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 is a big buddy dude. He's yeah. left us at the side of the tree. In the snow. Yeah. Yeah. With a fucking cripple. Yeah. See you there. Can you, you, not, fucking... can you not drag my sled with, on the back of your horse? Yeah. You've left the sled fucking ten miles that way. How, what am I supposed to do with him? I'd have just got it to fucking, got you to the tree mate. Yeah. See ya. Just fucking... Not my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah. You can't leave me, you're the three-eyed raven aren't you? Yeah. yeah. If any trouble comes you'll see it coming water. You can't leave me. <laughs> see ya. Morph into this tree like the old dude did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just live in this tree. That's what we're gonna do. We'll morph into that tree and just fucking leave her. He won't be too fucked. He's a yeah. selfish little twat. <laughs> I hope he tries morphing into a tree and falls out. No, because he's got to get back to fucking Winterfell now to tell Johnny's birthright and. Don't have to get anywhere. He can just fucking pop it. He'll can... get down. John never know that he's a Targaryen. Because he can walk into John's dream from last Tuesday and tell him. Yeah, so that was... like he did with Hodor when he fucking killed him. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Walk, walk, walk into his dream. John, you're a Targaryen. I'm part of I'm part tree now. See you, fella. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm a massive cunt and everybody who's playing this game hates me. <laughs> Even the nerds who are running this D&D The D&D master who's running this game of Thrones yeah. hates Bran, but he just has a high luck rate. That's yeah. why he don't die. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, that, that's, that's, it's going to be the D&D theory to end it. Yeah. But um, yeah, next season, um, I want to see how you finish a list. Yeah. I want to see more of Hound, even though I don't know what it's going to be doing, so I don't have an agenda. Yeah. I want to see the North rally. Yes. Um, and maybe not. I mean, it's going to be season eight. That's seven episodes of I don't want Daenerys and Jon to meet. Not just yet, no. I want it to be next season to be by the end of the season. John's got the north, Daenerys has got the south. Yeah, and then it's do we fight or do we talk about this? And it yeah. all comes out in season yeah. the Targaryens and stuff. Yeah, that's I think that's where it should go. Yeah. Um, I think John's still going to be battling the White Walker, and it's going to be the dragons that come and deal the final blow to the White Walkers. Yeah, could it, yeah, because when, when Danny takes us south, I think John's going to send a raven saying, "Look, we can talk about who gets what lands afterwards. We're, we're getting fucked here." <laughs> Yeah, I think it could be a case of the, you know, the don't fight, they just, I've got the north, I'm the king of the north. You don't want to be, yeah. you don't want the iron front, does it? Just no. king of the north, he's yeah. happy where he is. Yeah. Um, so John takes the north, they take the south, and then he marches onto the wall and Danny comes to help. Yeah. And declares him warden of the north. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what the next two scenes are going to do. Uh, it's all the little bits in between, you can't figure what's next for Melisandre. No. Um, what's next for Hound. I want to see Littlefinger's head get staved in. <laughs> I like Littlefinger. I want I want Sansa to, I want Sansa to feed Littlefinger and possibly another two or three people to the hounds. Yeah. I want that to be her thing now. <laughs> She's got Ramsay Bolton's hounds in cage under Winterfell. Yeah. And she just feeds me. They haven't done no. They haven't done no wrong. Yeah. It's just some bloke was, you know, he got drunk and fell asleep. Sansa's got a bloodlust to curse. To, yeah. To quench. Oh, that's something we've got some uh Game from feedback, didn't we, last week? Yep. Ramsey Bolton. Yep. Let's go. Uh, from Neil Lendl. Yep. Who thinks Ramsey Bolton is a warg. Yeah, which was a, an interesting theory. He, yeah. he, he 
Theorise. Right, I've got it this week. Look, it's, it's got letters on it and everything. Yeah, what's it say? <laughs> 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 Alright, let's get on with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's professional. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, Neil got in touch with us last week via the YouTube comments. And, um, I forgot his YouTube name, is it Poopy Pants or something like that? That poo smell or something like yeah, that, I think yeah. it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, um, he's, he asked a question, is Ramsey Bolton a warg? Yeah. Like, is he dead or did he walk into his hound because the hound licks his face First. before it bites him? Yeah. Did he walk into him? Um, and I quite like the idea. Um, I don't think he did. Yeah. Because that hound didn't waste any time in ripping his fucking jaw off. <laughs> so I don't think he walked, but he might have done. Yeah. And I like the idea because it reminds me of the Farseer trilogy. Yeah. Um, the Robin Hood novels. Um, where is it the Farseer? Is it the Farseer trilogy? It's not the first one, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is the first one. It's the yeah. Farseer nice. trilogy. Night no, no, but I would, I would shock it was the Farseer trilogy or the Tony Hunt trilogy. Yeah. But no, it's the Farseer. Yeah. Um, yeah, it reminds me of the dude in the Farseer trilogy. Yeah. And that's that was a really cool, yeah. interesting storyline. Yeah. In that and box, so I'll, I'll be happy to see it again. If you remember when John were riding around with wildlings as well, we had the Mackenzie Crooks character who was a wag. Yeah. Just before he died, he wagged into his eagle. Mm -hmm. So it's possible to wag and just before you die and still have a. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I know it's possible. I know yeah. it's possible. I'm just thinking, right, you're saying this year. Why you get your face ripped off, you're kind of not concentrating. For, or maybe it's, it's a fight or flight reaction. It's like, yeah. ah, fuck, run, run. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could be he's in, he's in a home waiting to get Sansa. She's feeding more people to the homes because yeah. she's got a blood loss now. Because mm -hmm. she's fucking damaged. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting theory. Yeah. But uh, let us know what you yeah. think, what you expect of next season. Is Ramsey Bolton a wag? Yeah. And the only thing left really is Sansa boots. Sansa boots? She, yeah, she hasn't she had them out yet. She won't feel that. On that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think we're getting Sansa boobs out now. Why not? She's kind of doing Hollywood movies at the moment. I think she's a bit above. So is Amelia Clark? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So is Lena Headey? She, she did a 10 minute scene walking through the streets naked. Yeah, but no, she didn't, did she? Yeah. It wasn't her. She wore fucking paws on it. What? She wore fucking paws on that body. What's she? Yeah, Cersei. Oh. Cersei didn't do it. Oh, well, Natalie Dormer gets them out all the time. <laughs> yeah, she did Hunger Games. <laughs> they did star in Hunger Games. In the last two films, she won a lead act in it. Yeah, but you can't, you can't have Sansa are getting her boobs out in season 7 of Game of Thrones when she's playing fucking Phoenix in <laughs> X-Men. You, you, can, you can't get your boobs out on TV while you're in a PG-13 movie. I mean, Amelia Clark would... Scarlett scared. Johnson? Scarlett Johansson, even? She just did that indie film last year, after after six years of playing Black Widow. Yeah, it's an indie film that's not going to get seen. Oh, I don't know. I yeah. don't think, no. I don't think... <laughs> are, we, are we really debating this? Debating whether you can get boobs out or not. Yeah. <laughs> like, Amelia Clark, at least was in uh, Terminator Genesis, which <laughs> nobody saw. <laughs> so, uh, no, 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 really everybody did see it, because they had to go, is it really that bad? Oh, shit, it is. Yeah, <laughs> but at least that, that were an 18 one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, you know, yeah, getting boobs out and being an 18 film. You can't be getting your boobs out on TV and then being in an X Men film. Of course you can't. You can't. It's, like, Scarlett Johansson could do it because she's Scarlett Johansson, she's fucking famous as fuck. <laughs> Sansa's, like, oh, you played Sansa Stark. Elizabeth Olsen wasn't famous as fuck before she did Scarlet Witch. No. And she, she, she gets her boobs out while filming an incest scene in, uh, I forgot what it's called now. Right before she was famous. What? She's not famous now. She is, she's oh, kind of uh, Not for one thing. I did just do one thing in an entire fucking career. You're just a pedantic, horny little dwarf, aren't you? Yes. You are, Tyrion. I do two things, I drink and I fuck. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't do the second thing. You don't do the second thing. <laughs> Once every five years. <laughs> oh, you press I'm comment. that good at it, I don't like sharing it, you see. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think we should end there. Yeah, this is... <laughs> He's come on some mad tangent. This has gone, this has gone south very fucking wrong. Right? Yeah. Right, uh, until next season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, stoffupsense.wix.com forward slash home. Let us know what you think. Uh, comment on the YouTube video, like, subscribe, go to Patreon. Don't be a prick, fucking click. Yeah, and keep commenting and we can pretend to have paper and... <laughs> Uh, we will answer your questions. Yeah. Till next time, Geek Files. See you later.
That went very fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs>